Hello and welcome to this SUP Border video. Now, have you ever unpacked your inflatable stand-up paddleboard, taken out the repair kit, and wondered what is this doing in there and what is it used for? Well, I definitely have, and it wasn't until recently that I found out exactly what this tool is used for. So this is your valve tool or valve wrench. It goes by a number of different names, but it's a very handy tool that enables you to tighten and loosen the valve point on your inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Now, it's a little bit scary to think that you might be fiddling around with the valve point on your board, but in actual fact, this does come in handy. Most of the time, we won't have to use this tool. A lot of the boards come manufactured to a really high standard of quality, but there are a few times and there are a few common reasons why this tool would be needed. The first and most common reason you'll need to use this is to tighten the valve as air is leaking out of it. Now this really isn't a problem at all and it's why this tool comes with all repair kits. Now generally, if you believe your board has a leak, the first place to check for the leak is at the valve point. Nine times out of 10, the leak is here as valves can become loose or sand and grit gets inside, causing air to escape. This tool is shaped to fit your SUP valve, but a word of caution, not all valve tools fit all boards. So use the one that came with your purchase or count the grooves on the valve and the distance between them to know which one you might need. If your valve is leaking air, tightening the valve is really easy. Just latch the tool onto the valve points and twist in a clockwise direction to seal it up. You may need to apply some pressure, but a small twist should do it. The other reason you'll use this tool is to clean out your valve. Now chances are if you inflate your paddleboard at the beach, sand can get into the valve when you take off the twist cap or when you are connecting and disconnecting the hose of your pump. So it's a really good idea to clean out that sand and grit because it can cause issues later down the line. Now to clean out your valve, firstly make sure your board is deflated. Using this tool, you wanna to twist anti-clockwise in direction to loosen and unscrew the valve. Once it's fully unscrewed, you'll see the inner workings of your inflation point and any debris or dust or sand that may be in there. Clean it out and screw the valve back on using the tool in that clockwise motion. It's such a handy little tool that I didn't really know what it's used for, but now we know. So if your board is leaking air, maybe check the valve, grab out this little tool from your repair kit and tighten it up so that way you can get on the water having more fun and not deflating. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning into this SUP border video. I really hope that you learned a little bit. I know I did, so that was awesome. Thanks, valve tool. We'll see you guys soon.